that they never show up. Two of the rice bran sunscreens. Here at KCON LA 2023. And welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be introducing a very special and fun event I was able to take part in last weekend. This year I was very fortunately invited to be able to tour booths and review the products for the KCON convention event. If you guys never heard of KCON before, it basically consists of two different ticketed events, the convention as well as the concert. The convention is held inside of the LA Convention Center during the day and then the concert at the Crypto Arena at night. There are so many different opportunities and fun events going on at the convention including lifestyle, beauty, and food booths as well as random play dances and surprise idol appearances. You can also purchase tickets to attend meet and greets and special high touch events with new lineups of different artists coming each day. I had a lot of fun at my first time at KCON and of course I wanted to share this opportunity with you guys so I filmed a little vlog while touring the booths, a haul of all the products I received that day as well as a special surprise at the end of the video. I really really hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's move on to the vlog. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired. I haven't run like this since middle school. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. So I'm currently at KCON right now and it's really loud in here. We're gonna start touring the booths right now. We have a guy that's gonna help us go around the booths.
our newest addition. It's really moisturizing. Powder wash. It's a facial cleanser. You mix it with water. It's really exfoliating and moisturizing. My personal favorite is the wash of mask. Right? It's like super smooth and feels so much faster and it's really moisturizing. 100% 대나무로 만든 친환경 제품입니다. 네. 자연에서 자연으로 다시 돌아가는 제품이고요. 과정에서 쓰는 거, 그리고 여행 갈때 쓰는 거, 주방에서 쓰는 반려동물 용품도 있고요. 
a lot of their cushions were already sold out which probably means that they are really good and a lot of people enjoy them usually i don't put any products on my skin because i do tend to have a more sensitive skin type but if you guys didn't notice today i put a bit of concealer on my skin and i honestly don't know how to feel about it i usually prefer more lightweight and natural looks so definitely excited to try this out later i'm gonna try using all of those products throughout my vlogs and i'll let you guys know what i think of them and my thoughts Okay, next up, we have two more cushions. So the difference between these. Okay, so the purple one says that it's the Aurora Glow Cushion. And these two pink ones are the Silky Blur Cushion. This says that it's a shield fixer. So I assume that it's a sort of makeup spray that protects your makeup throughout the day. This is a glow fixer. So I believe this one creates a really glowy and dewy look. Next, we have four different primers. This one is the Tinted Moisturizer, the Pore Control Essence Primer, the Hydrating Essence Primer, and the Aurora Essence Primer. Next are these lip masks. These are really, really cute. I'm gonna try opening them up. It's in this really cute little container. And last but not least, I got these two eyeliners. This one is in the shade brown and this one in shade black. All of these can be found on Amazon, so I really highly recommend that you guys go check them out on there. And I have a little cute unicorn pen that they gave me that says self-beauty. So self-beauty is always important. Okay, next bag. I remember this was kind of like a put everything in kind of bag. Don't know what's gonna pop out of here. This bag also ripped in the middle of the day, which means that there's a lot of good stuff in here because that's how heavy the bag was. Gotta take this off now. But thank you for your service, unicorn. So first up is this little bag that says Toha Kain. Gonna open it up. Ooh, these are basically white rice wash of masks that you put on your face. These are treatment masks that are supposed to help exfoliate and and nourish your skin and we have two of the rice brand sunscreens using sunscreen every single day is super important i actually have not been doing that until i believe my freshman year of college but the sun seriously damages your skin so make sure to put sunscreen every single day next are these wet wipes and tissues because they are made from natural substances they are not harsh on your skin at all and really good for the environment so very excited to use that later last but not least are these shower heads and filters this boot too was a really really memorable and interesting booth that caught my attention. When you go traveling, you sometimes don't know what harmful chemicals might be inside of the water. This can lead to damage in the hair as well as your skin. So the shower head is meant to protect you from all of the harmful bacteria that might be inside of the water. They gave me this refill filter. I believe that the original shower head also comes with one. And then these different scents. This is from Cheonna Onchan, Gangwon Onchan, Chungcheon Onchan, and this one from the Gyeongsang Onchan. So each of these are from different regions of Korea. Some of them have a really oceany, salty smell some really earthy smells and some floral so it's meant to give you the experience and the vibe that the different regions of Korea give you unfiltered water and water with harmful bacteria in it can really damage your skin a lot so I believe that this is a great investment especially when you're traveling and that was all the products that I received I hope you guys enjoyed the haul as well as the vlog I did mention a surprise at the end of the video and that's actually the KCON concert really last minute I was able to attend the concert and I was beyond excited because if you guys didn't know i am a really really big fan of stray kids and they happen to be attending that day they're the first k-pop group that i really liked and actually what got me into k-pop in the first place so i was really thrilled to be able to see them that day i didn't take my camera in so some of the videos are kind of low quality but i'll put in a couple of clips that i took at the concert And that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoy the haul as well as the vlog and even the little snippet of the KCON concert at the end. A big thank you to KCON for allowing me to have a really good and fun experience. If you guys liked it, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment only nice things down below. And I'll see you guys soon in the next vlog. Bye!